Get your SH Monster Arts at Big Bad Toy Store at the link in the description today. Dragon Ball Horror Kaiju and more. Steven Story Reviews. Hey there, collectors, it's going to be Steven here, and welcome to another SH Monster Arts review. And I'm so glad I get to do two of these back to back because this one really shows how amazing this action figure line can be. Because today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Monster Arts Red Eyes Black Dragon. That is right, we are going to be taking a look at one of the most iconic. Yu-Gi-Oh! Monsters, one of the iconic Ace ones, keep in mind, it's going to be a vanilla one, but nevertheless, Red Eyes is finally here in the line, and he is going to be clocking in at about $130 at US MSRP. We just came off the heels earlier this year, end of last year actually, for Blue Eyes White Dragon, and is the sequel going to be just as good as the first? I am a diehard Blue Eyes fan, I have four Blue Eyes decks, I have three Red Eyes, okay? Yeah. I'm an OG Duel Monsters fan, sad to say, I guess it is what it is, but I am very much so happy to say Red Eyes is everything that Blue Eyes is, here anyway, and more. Let's take a look to see why you need to add this into your collection today. That should that, that should seal the deal for you for, for, for the review, you can click off of it, but if you want to stick around, let me go ahead and sell this to you, I, I suppose, I suppose, because... All right, looks, I mean, red eyes. I, 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 look, I, I'm looking through the preview right now. I'm not in editing. I'm not going to try to, to upsell it in the editing phase here. Uh, this is stunning. It is gorgeous, especially more so when it is farther away from you. Red Eyes Sculpt is just fantastic, and it really captures, at least in silhouette at minimum, the overall feel for this black dragon. The general concept of red eyes is going to be that modular effect. It's going to be able to rely on others and and it takes in design from not only dragons but birds as well. There was even someone in the comment section of one of my posts about red eyes that it reminded them of Corviknight from Pokemon, a, a raven. The head sculpt is iconic and it is just perfect and I do not use that word lightly. I almost never use that word. When it comes to the paint application, here is where it is stunning nearly across the board and is one of the best on the SH Monster Arts line proper I have ever seen. But it does, when we start to look under the hood, have a couple of drawbacks. Now I'm going to talk about that as well, so bear with me. If you're a fan of the card game, if you're a fan of the anime, the manga, so forth, you'll know that just like Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, for whatever reason, isn't always the color that the name indicates for the dragon. What does that mean? Well, Red Eyes Black Dragon is sometimes depicted as having shades of red, or in some instances, like in the anime, may have purple. Well, for Red Eyes here, pretty much all throughout his spikes, he's going to have frosted tips. He's going to have very light silver dry brushing. And yes, Red Eyes here is going to be cast in a black plastic, but there's going to be a very subtle, shimmery, reddish purple paint application found throughout the figure, which is just magnifique. Two issues, though. If you take a look at the silver paint application up close and personal, let's go back to my unboxing, and of course, the purpose of the macro photography here, I, you may first just have that initial that, like knockback that you, you I had, right? You, you may have that as well. But again, looking at it closer, on mine in particular, on, on the one side, it does have a, a, like a little bit of a bubbling effect where it looks like some of them may have popped, which is, eh, you know, okay. And then for that purple paint application, it's not as egregious as they had with the Night Colors Godzilla 2019 or some of the other SH Monster Arts that have a similar effect to it. But that purple paint application is really only visible around the sculpted area. So Red Eyes is kind of segmented. So any of the segments that would cover up another portion of the sculpt, it's just going to be black plastic underneath. So if you're fine with those things, what's the issue with Red Eyes? The metallic Red Eyes? Nope. The mouth? Eh, it's kind of shiny plastic, unpainted, but who really cares? Red Eyes is great. Now I want to go back real quick. That's macro photography, baby. 
it may not be for you, but for the other person where it does matter, that's for them. But if those issues bother you, maybe this isn't your hobby. All right, finally, after messing around with this thing off camera for so long, I get to tell you how awesome the articulation is. And if you're familiar with blue eyes, well, <laughs> it's mostly going to be the same. That is going to be an issue, though, with red eyes. It's going to be balancing. And uh, maybe if you take a look at the design, you're probably like, well, no, duh. But let's let's really talk about this. So you really get an idea that that is a, that is a good demonstration. But he is hardy, as you can see. Uh, fell directly on the wings and no damage, which folks did have an issue with that with blue eyes. So articulations, the, the top part of the head and the, the, the jaw, they are actually going to be on separate ball joints. I have popped them off, so they do move independently. So you can move them around. You can get, you know, that <laughs> if you want. And that's really cool because when we talk about the, oh, the neck, thumbs up there the tongue does move as well so if you do you know want the tongue just sitting in the mouth like that you can get that the neck is fantastic so we do have the spikes that are going to be on the back think of like king Ghidorah here so that is going to get in the way if you are looking to get red eyes to like throw his neck all the way back but even then there are going to be gaps so i don't know that's acceptable to me that's beyond acceptable and then of course looking down just fine no issues looking left looking right it's it's like a, it's like a tail right it's like a tail which which uh, red eyes tail we'll, we'll talk about that right now because that's that's amazing as well uh the tail just follows the same sort of idea as the neck right so it plugs in right there on a ball joint and it, every section has a movement it's it's amazing the only issue is that it's short so you're not going to like get it to curl all the way around, but just imagine if that was longer. And then we have other releases in the Monster Arts line where the tail it, it has nothing but issues of falling off or it likes to droop. So Red Eyes just nails it. And then the only sort of critique in the main body is we really only have a ball joint that is going to be right there in the center. We do get a little bit more movement down here in this I guess you may say the center pelvis cavity, but nevertheless, we, we effectively only have that point of movement, but it, it is good. Like blue eyes. We did have a couple and they could probably stick another one like right in there, but, uh, this is just fine. No worries. All right. The arms of red eyes, because this is where I think some folks may have a bit of a problem. And this is where I actually did until I realized what was going on here. And the issue is red eyes is spiky. You're like, no, duh, <laughs> you're looking at it. But uh, yeah, so I say that, but in practicality, you may not realize that because just take a look at this section right here where let me go ahead and zoom in for you. You have the wing base, which collides in with this spike here, right, right here. And then you have this piece of the shoulder sculpt. So this is kind of how it was right out of the box. And when you do go to move the wing, okay, so you do have to have clearance there, right, up at the top. But then, depending on how this is, you may not have good clearance there, right? So, what you can do is that is actually just a sleeve. You can spin that around. That will make sense later because oh, we have a spike here as well. So, we do have hinge movement for the shoulders, just like, you know, a, a figure arts per se. So that's good. And then since again, this is plugging in, we do have swivels so we can spin the arm around, which is good. Then we do have a bicep swivel. So now you can see how that spikiness gets in the way because we're going to have all of these spikes colliding in with each other. Oh, just like that. So make sure you're being conscious of this. You're being mindful. So you're not causing any paint scrapage. Okay. Just a PSA there. So I just kind of set it and forget it. If you will, I turn it towards the back and we're good to go. Let me go ahead and zoom back out since that is your, uh, that's your lesson of the day. Moving on down to the elbow, we do have a single hinge, which, eh, you know, works just fine. Maybe you can turn that around if it is going to work for you. And you do get a little bit more range of movement, but then you, you know, you kind of just have to worry about, you know, colliding into certain things. So just keep that in mind. You may have a piece of the sculpt, which is more accommodating for range of movement. But we do have swivels for where it plugs into the bicep and the forearm just a little bit. Cool. 
wrists, same sort of joint. Let me go ahead and actually pop the hand off here because that is going to be a part of the accessories, which I'll go ahead and bang out right here. So we do have a peg that goes into the forearm. We do have a hinge, and then we do have the peg where the hand goes in. So you're probably thinking to yourself, like, oh, okay, well, this closed up hand, which is default, which Blue Eyes pretty much had, is, you know, kind of boring. I wish there was something that was a bit more energetic or had emotion to it. Red Eyes is going to come with a set of open hands as well. So this way, if you did want to have sort of like a splaying, uh, slashing type of action, you can get that. So that is really, really good to see there. Thumbs up. Now, with the wrist, just to kind of go back to it, so again, you do have a swivel where it goes into the forearm, and that is going to help with the hinge, because you can only hinge in one direction, so you can spin that, you can twist the hand, and you can get better movement. The hips, I think, are actually kind of terrible. Okay, so they are going to plug into the body on a swivel, right, and then they are going to hinge, which again, the spikes, right? Okay, they do have a peg that goes into the thigh. Um, okay, so they do swivel, but this one was really stuck for me, and it didn't really work until I popped it out, which, let me just go ahead and show you briefly, it goes in ba basically straight on, <laughs> which is a, a bit detrimental, I feel, uh, it, it, it is very hard to really accommodate with the design for red eyes to, um, come get back in there. Okay. So anyway, it is a bit detrimental to the design to sort of have that angle that sort of goes against, that goes against how the, the design is because you have the spikes and it goes straight down. Anyway, just my two cents. The knees, these are complicated because we do have a double hinge um, we do seem to have a bit of rotation there, but I don't know if I'm forcing it. So, so kind of look at them. We do have a gap here. We have a little hole and that helps with the top of the knee part here. So again, we do have the double hinge, which is great, right? Okay. But that is so this way we can have it overlap and we can get more range that way, or we can have it go in and we can get the leg a bit more straight. So just to kind of show you like a side-by-side -side comparison, here's what it looks like. So you can get the leg a bit more straight or you can tuck them in a bit more. I guess that's more so classic to the red eyes design, but it is what it is. The ankles, I'm not really a big fan of. We do get a little bit of ankle rocker movement. I think this is just going to be ball joint. Um, they do twist a little bit, but really, I do feel that these are weak, very much so in comparison to this larger dragon, and they're not really going to support the figure. That also doesn't help with the awkward feet shape and design. We do get hinges, which are really cool, like you can make it look like he's grabbing something or what have you. But I mean, as you saw, Red Eyes really isn't going to be able to stand up on his own. You can use the tail as like a tripod, but I'm not very confident he can stand up on his own, especially with this swivel here where it plugs into the body being a bit loose on mine. So what I will say is that Red Eyes articulation, uh, it's, it's amazing. I love this thing. I cannot stop fiddling with this. Um, you know, one of the things that I have with some of my, my figures is, is it's dangerous for me whenever I have a product that is, is very good and it has very fluid movement and is fun to just mess around with because thank you ADHD as well. That will, uh, distract me too much from getting progress done on my videos. Hint, hint. Um, red eyes is great. The wing movement, which I just realized I did not talk about, is pretty much going to be the same as blue eyes, right? So when we look at the base, um, again, keep in mind the design. Uh, the base here actually sits flush with the body pretty much. So do keep that in mind. But we do have the swivel hinge combo. Uh, you know, moving it down like that, not really great. Moving it like that. We do get the swivel there, right, for the wings here. We do get the hinge movement and that swivels where that's really where you're going to put in a lot of the movement, but you can tuck the wings and there you go. We do have these plates, which seemingly have better range of movement than blue eyes, 
but as you saw, mine fell. It also fell off camera a few times, and it was fine. So anyway, moral of the story, the articulation for red eyes is fantastic. So you saw the alternate hand parts, right? A critique there, red eyes also does have, in the card game at least, um, alternate metal swiping equip cards. That would be really cool if they would have included here. I think he uses it in the anime as well, but who cares? Red Eyes also does come with the same convoluted support stand that Blue Eyes comes with. I will say after messing around with this a bunch, I actually kind of sort of a little bit appreciate the wing supports just a bit more on this dragon. And I forget where we go. Um to have this in for his crotch. But just to show you, um, is it there? Ah, there we go. So you're gonna go with this center piece and the big part is gonna go forward and it will clip in Kind of just like that. He's actually going to rest. It's not clip in. So it, it is kind of stable if you get it incorrectly and you balance the weight. So if you balance the weight, you don't really have to worry about too much. You have to have the wings situated in a correct way. And then as you slide this around, you drop it down and you, you tuck it in. You make sure that the stuff doesn't pop off, right? Twist, turn, set it in. Okay, get the wing ready to go. Spread it out. You twist it. You pop it off. <laughs> ah, come on. You go in. And there you go. Red Eyes is hovering. Counterpoint. This isn't even the stand that I would use. But just as an example. You can't do that really with the current setup unless you, you really mess around with it. And I think that looks a lot cleaner than having these two wing supports. That's all you got to do. But nevertheless, if you did want to do that, you can. You do have all the support stands you need, however, in order to use as well, as well, the Inferno Fire Blast effect part. Let's zoom in real quick to take a look at this beautiful effect part, which I absolutely love. This is probably one of my favorite effect parts that's been released with the figure in quite some time. This is better than the white lightning, the burst stream of destruction that was included with blue eyes. Okay, look at this thing. It is a bit darker than what was advertised. Like when it, when it was advertised, this was really, really red. Now it's, it's getting closer to a purple effect, but it, it, it's made of a softer plastic, so you don't have to worry about these snapping, right? Maybe, maybe disconnecting, but nevertheless, this is really, really cool. And you're thinking what I'm thinking, Goku Black, Kamehameha, right? All right, there you go. Now, it does have a hole in the bottom for a support arm piece, which kind of self-explanatory and again you get all the parts that you need for red eyes this does not sit in his mouth perfectly you will need the support stand in order to use it in his mouth or you can just use a little bit of blue tack if you know what you are doing so that being said that is going to be the accessory section for red eyes pretty straightforward again the extra claw support there that is one that i had laying around 
And so I think that that honestly works better for red eyes instead of the goofy wing support that they did include with the new fire Rodan. I don't know why they did that. That that's for that review anyway. So again, the only other critique that I have is maybe the metal claw effect for red eyes instead, or in addition to, but otherwise I think this is a great amount of accessories considering the quality and the articulation put into it. If you do need other effect parts or support stands, you know I got videos to help you out. Size comparison, Red Eyes is a bit bigger than I thought he was going to be. He's just about the same size as Blue Eyes and considering, you know, even if it, we're going to use the manga or the anime, whatever the case may be, Red Eyes has always been portrayed to me as a bit smaller than Blue Eyes considering he's going to be the weaker of the two. But nevertheless, if you have blue eyes, you know how big this one's going to be. And if you don't, now you have a good idea of about how big red eyes is. Buy now, Scott. Nope, buy now. Looks fantastic. Couple minor quality control issues where, you know, that's just going to pop up under macro photography. Uh, the articulation is fantastic with only a couple of design issues here or there, which I think they could have been a bit more cognizant of in order to circumvent. But nevertheless, he moves just fine. And though they did include a support stand to kind of sort of help, uh, it's only for if he's going to be flying or floating. Not if he's standing, if you really think about it. I suppose that the wing supports could help with that, but nevertheless. Uh, and he comes with his signature effect part, which that should be standard throughout the SH Monster Arts line, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, an Elemental Hero uh, Winged Flame Man. Go ahead and comment. Comes with an effect part as well. So, moral of the story is, Red Eyes is amazing, Red Eyes is fantastic, and if you're thinking about it, you're going to kick yourself if you skip it, and it shoots up in price on the aftermarket.